Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Minecraft. I've recently become stuck in a hole, although this appears to be my ride out. Um, as you may have noticed, my pickaxe broke while I was down there, and I was unable to craft another one because I didn't plan properly. Wow, I'm all the way over here. Well, I'm at least I'm home. Yeah, I went down in that, uh, in the big staircase I built, uh, several episodes ago. Probably like 20 by now. I've been widening and uh, making it larger and larger, as you can see. I went down because I accidentally turned all of my lapis lazuli into uh, regular dye. And man, I certainly wanted to die when I was done with that. My pickaxe broke before I could tunnel my way out because I got severely lost down there. So I uh, started punching my way out. I'm very fortunate to have found the exit so close after my failure. So, the reason I did that was for these. Lapis lazuli. And by the way, I started digging that down as well. Hey, 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 baby. There we go. Let's put that in there. That in there. I think I've got more Lorva. Yes, I do. Two. I'm primarily using these. But hey, can't argue with the results. Getting a lot of food this way, which is very nice. Alright. The lava that I've dumped around here is probably going to start getting cleaned up very soon. Oh, yes. I must remove these from my inventory. Shabooms. Pew pew. And then dump this, dump that, dump that. Dump that. And that. I need this. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. And then get those in there. That should be everything. Pew 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 pew. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Well, I suppose why not, right? Though I should see if I can put something even better -er on this. We'll see about that, huh? Goodness gracious, I need to organize this. All right. Guess it's maxed out then, huh? That's fine. I'll hold on to those for the future. Hey, you're starting to lay eggs for me. That's great. You love to see it. Then one last thing. Pep to pep. Pep to pep. Heep a deep. Is that positive positive? 
No, because that's stone. So, andesite? Oh, yes. I'm gonna do this. And these. Why did I make the boneheaded idea to build these all out of stone? And now we're going this way? That's still burning. <laughs> Oh, man, that's great. I love to know of the impact I have on worlds. Let's just double check I'm recording. I am. Cool. Oop, I've gone too far one way. This way, I think. Looks to be that way. All right, cool. And I believe that's the gravel biome, so I'm near, if not here. Ooh. I remembered it. Proud of myself. Wow, the unbreaking is to the point where it didn't even break at all while doing that. It's very useful, in fact. So you may be able to guess what I'm up to now. I like it. I like the clang it makes, okay? Don't at me. But I'm gonna dig all the gravel out of here, as much of it as I can. It'll help provide flint for my arrows, as well as also gathering. Oh lord, something. Oh, help me. I'm so close. Gathering gravel for my concrete. Which, as I'm sure you know, is a large undertaking to build something so vast out of concrete. So, yes, I'll be here just plugging away with the shoves. Dawn till dusk, I suppose. This has been my plan for a while. I've always wanted to empty an entire biome, although I suppose it won't really... You won't be able to notice it as much. If I did this to a desert, which I will do, but later, you will be able to notice the change of yellow to gray on a map. But here it'll be gray to a different shade of gray. Brown sheep. Rare occurrence. That is also why I have so many shulker boxes in the ender chest. It'll allow me to get stuff out of my inventory quicker. Since I don't really have the ability to cart stuff back instantly without the ender chest, I'll need that too. And because the shulker box is the chest in and of itself, I'll be able to turn the chest into goodies. And then the other thing is that I'm going to start combining all my shovels together to make a super shovel. Ooh, that's nice and satisfying. Oh, I'm full. Uh, let's put them in the blue.
Lots of flint. I suppose I really should clear out my inventory of all these uh, rocks first. I think I will. Now I'm supposed to go a stack in either direction. So a better way to do that then. Just a really dumb way. I swear this is going to be the most indistinguishable one of them all. Should have done better with that, but it's fine, I guess. And hey, I can fly down from this, so I won't be hurt. There's that rare occurrence again. Yeah, the tower's arc was so long ago, I barely remember that I even started it. But you can be assured that I certainly did. Man. Good old Minecraft, huh? I get to about 960 just in case. No. Man, I forget what mod it's from. I remember that it was in one of the Sky Factories. But there's this mod that I adore wherein the player is able to turn, is able to dry, dry things. They're able to dry rotten flesh into leather and it's very useful since I often find myself needing leather and not having it can be rather annoying hmm that'll be irritating find another shovel. I'm sure this is a gripping episode. You can't look away, but like in the plane crash sense. Consistent about how I build sometimes. So if this is if the start point is at 1024, how could the end point be at a negative at a positive number? No, not a positive number. At an odd number. Yeah, that's odd. Put a few more gravels in there. Let's pick you up. I like how my uh, do. So I know I've got this thing chanted with unbreaking about as high as it can possibly go. Does it just not break on uh, shulker boxes? Because that's particularly useful. Quite useful, in fact. I'm going to carve out a big chunk of the land, come back and clean it out later. 
travel in print. Yeah, so we'll just cart this whole continent out. Oh, man. If this is your series to vegetate to, then you've made a good choice in that. If you wanted intelligent commentary, though, you should probably get off of my channel. The only intelligence here is the D&D &D stat. Actually, I'm definitely, you know, a little late on this, but... I've, uh, I've had several spiels about the intelligence stat in Dungeons and & Dragons, and how 5th edition does not utilize it. Just kind of sentence, they don't really utilize it. Because they don't. I think they just have issues, like, saying what they want intelligence to be now. And there have been some opinions on how to fix it. I think that there should just be more classes that use intelligence. But for a while, the only class in D&D that used intelligence was wizard. And then classes within the uh, subclasses that essentially are just the multi-class of wizard. Like the arcane trickster was originally what happened when you multi-classed rogue and wizard. Same deal with the eldritch warrior or eldritch knight. And the other thing was that 5th edition uses the combination of dex and wisdom almost nauseatingly common. It makes sense for a monk to be it. And it makes sense for a ranger to be it. But also, a dex-based uh, druid would be one as well. Which is common considering druids are often elves. Or just someone who doesn't have a strength stat and wants to use light armor. Since druids can't wear armor and often prefer dodging things as well, that makes sense for them. Same deal with clerics, though, since that's another wizard, uh, wisdom-based class. And then the gunslinger, made by Matthew Mercer, also uses... I mean, I'd be fortunate the gunslinger, but the one that is popularized by Matt Mercer... Also is a dex whiz uh, class. And again, it's a subclass, but still. And then the fan-made class, which is essentially just either a witcher, the witch hunter from that Vin Diesel movie. Not a joke. He, uh, Matt Mercer made it for Vin Diesel. Or um, a werewolf. But like, one you can play as. Anyway, the Blood Hunter was also Dex Wiz, and it's just kind of irritating because it doesn't really have any need to be. And it would make more sense for it to be an intelligence build anyway, since they use things like chemicals and stuff. However, today I awoke to the news that uh, the Blood Hunter is now finally an int class. Meaning that with uh, the Ebron book out, which I just got, it's very, very good. I love Ebron, it's my favorite uh, default D&D setting. But yes, with the Ebron book that's coming out, and the change to Bloodhunter, intelligence is getting credit, because now there are two new classes that use intelligence whole cloth. I've always loved um, more complex classes that split their levels, requiring two stats. Yeah, nice. Dig that. Let's get this one out. Unbreaking is fine, but efficiency is where uh, the money is made. It'll also allow me to enchant this, uh, or repair it rather, sooner because it'll break faster. Anyway, that's my uh, incredibly bored sounding spiel about D&D, but believe me, I find it interesting. It's good that they listen to people. That's my favorite thing about 5th edition, how it's very open. The creation of the game was very well publicized. I think beta testers were allowed to play it, like, essentially day one. And people were always very, very aware of what steps were being made with the game. 
I also like how more inclusive it is. I actually own several uh, books from older generations and editions. I own a Tui book. And in Tui, uh, they just use the word, the pronoun he for everyone. Which is a little strange, but in the book, they're just like, assume we're saying he or she because, you know, anyone can play D&D. But because it's less letters, we'll just write he. Everyone's okay with that? And, you know, no, but it's nice that you admit that other people might want to play D&D. I think saying, like, just writing he instead of he or she is kind of a cop-out. And then later on, they begin to use he or she. And then D&D 5th edition uses they very often. Which is very nice. D&D 5th edition also outright says that there are... Uh, Trans people do exist in the Forgotten Realms. Which is so... It's so pleasant. I remember um, finding... Oh, shoot. That was dumb of me. Well, let's get another shovel. Looks like a crater. Uh, pum. I gotta get rid of these, actually. I guess I'll just take it back for now, y'all. I love the feeling of clearing out your inventory. I find it very ironic that I uh, went on record to say how much I hated people who play Minecraft with clogged inventories, and then I just clogged my inventory full of junk for the first several episodes of play. I've got to say, shulker boxes are one of the best uh, additions to Minecraft in years, though. They're extremely useful. The fact that you have to beat the final boss of the game and go to one of the hardest areas in the, you know, game world to access them is less than ideal. But in the grand scheme of things, it incentivizes the player to do that anyway. I know that that's not where the uh, thing terminates. Just starting another staircase on this side so I can build this up. Of all of them, this is the most ramshackle uh, project. I think andesite is just one of the rarer stones to find. Diorite's particularly common. And granite's quite noticeable thanks to its hue. But I think andesite just doesn't stick out as much. Excuse me, I snuffled my nose right into the microphone. I should be talking more, but I'm just kind of vegetating myself. It's such a chill game. It's so pleasant. I'm having such a nice time just chill, you know? So rarely do I get to. Wow, I have so many stacks of andesite. Building a real Hadrian's Wall out in this gravel desert. 
I should have named this thing with a Team Fortress 2 reference. Actually, I don't really have a lot of names for my areas. I really should start doing that. It's a good part of world building. It's not like Minecraft has any world building, so really it's all up to me. My world is just what I build in it, so... I may as well build cool things. Like that giant emerald pyramid I keep talking about building. Much better. All right. Finally starting to get rid of some of my endocyte, so. That too, wait. Yeah. That's so annoying. How's that possible? Have I made a miscalculation? Improbable, but I guess it could happen. Okay. So already, can you? I guess you couldn't be able to do this, right? That would that's a time paradox. Like, that's an antimatter field waiting to happen, right? I've probably been recording too long, and I'm not really talking about anything, so I'm actually going to stop this episode because I just Shelled out for 30 minutes and dug and built. So, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming to this one. Uh, uh, it's Minecraft. Thanks.